my life did a complete perspective change. Because now, you are accountable. You know what I mean? You're accountable for the well-being of something outside of yourself. You know what I mean? And this is a person. Things can happen that you cannot fix. But you can't take back. You have, to, you have to seriously protect your kid from certain things. So my whole priorities, perspective, agenda, flip-flopped a little bit. I won't say that my, who I am and, and what I've done, what I do, took a 180 degree turn. But my priorities, my perspective, definitely did. And, you know, um, the decisions I make, the process now, is there's another element, there's another factor in my decision-making process. And that's my daughter's well-being. And uh, so it was definitely a paradigm shift, you know, in the way I think. Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle. Rest in peace. Welcome. Uh, I don't really have like uh, no name for this yet. This wasn't even supposed to be uh, a thing, you know. But I don't know. Something hit me, so I'm just, you know, I just. Plug this shit back up. Microphones. And all that. And just press the button. Um but I'm here. First and foremost, I'm here. Uh you know, this is special for me. This is special. I wanted to talk about fatherhood and what it is, what it means to me. You know, I'm uh, I'm five months in the game. <laughs> five months in the game. Uh, it's a ride, man. It's a journey for sure. But the journey, the journey, like Nipsey Hussle said, it's a it's a perspective change. But that's kind of the nice way to say it, right? Because it's really it's really it's really a mind fuck. That's the that's the truest way I can put it. It's really a mind fuck. You know. You go into it You go into it thinking, you know, oh I got so much to teach him. I wanna teach him so much. I wanna learn so much so I could teach him. That was my thing. I'm like, man, I wanna learn how to do this and learn how to do that. So in case he ever had any questions, I could I could always be the one that he could run to, but five months in, I'm like, yo, <laughs> he's the teacher. And I'm receiving all the lessons, <laughs> hands on, you know, ain't no buffer, no filter. It's like, yo. We here every day, <laughs> every day. That's the beauty, though. You know, it's a uh, time is moving fast. Time is moving real fast. But as fast as time is moving, it's also slowing down because 
what I thought was patience wasn't patience. Now I know patience. Now I know real patience. And the definition, the, the, the Webster's definition of patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate, delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. Now. Now. It's very interesting. Because it's like, how do you get mad at a baby? You can't. Even, even, even at your lowest, lowest moment where you're just like living like the worst shit imaginable for a baby. The other day I'm changing, I'm changing my son's diaper and I lift his legs up and like shit just shoots at me like a fucking bow and arrow, um, a barrage of bow and arrows. And I, I, I just couldn't do nothing but just look like, for real? This what we doing? Is this what this is? Like it just shot at me. I said, oh my God. But I didn't get mad. I didn't get mad. I wanted to. But I couldn't. Like. (laughs) Sometimes you can't do nothing but laugh. At the things that happen. With a baby. Mind you. This is really my first experience. Really with a, a baby. Like day to day. Like, of course, I've been around other kids and shit, but, like, day-to-day with a baby. This is my first real experience. So, it's a fucking crash course. It's a crash course. Like, ain't no, uh, ain't no lesson plan. (laughs) Ain't no semesters. It's like, no. Class starts today, and... The final was at the end of class. (laughs) And we're going to do it again tomorrow. (laughs) And the day after that. What you going to do? Give up? Nah. Not even an option or a consideration or a thought. Like, oh man, I'm I'm just... Nah. (laughs) And I, I, I wonder and question about men that can. Just like, yeah, you know what? I'm done. I'm throwing my hands in. I'm out. Throw the towel in. I'm out. And that's it. Nah. I get way too much enjoyment out of this to ever be done. Even when I'm done, like in this, in this flesh, in this realm, still never done. Like, I'm gonna be a daddy until the world blow and that's the truth you know what is magic you think you think magic is you know pulling a a, a rabbit out of a hat some ribbons out of sleeve not even close The moment that my son was born, I was right there face to face. I couldn't do shit but cry. The ugliest cry you'll ever see. And it was uncontrollable. And that's how I knew right then that God was real. I've had a tricky relationship with God, but in that moment I knew what truth was. No more questions, no more doubt, no more wonder. It was real, it was in my face. You know, magic ain't got nothing to do with no rabbits. 
no magic wands. It's truth right in your face. That's magic. You know, you see a baby come out of a woman, you come back and talk to me about what magic is. It's some amazing shit. And to be able to witness it firsthand, I thank God for it every day. Because it's made me who I am today. It's made me a better man, you know. And I thank God for that moment every day. Not a day goes by where I'm not thankful for it. So, to all the fathers out there, you know, the fathers who not here with us no more, fathers to be, grab your kids if you can, grab a picture of them if you can, kiss them, kiss the picture, and cherish this shit, man. It's the most beautiful shit in the world. Happy Father's Day, everybody.